Hi, this demo is going to walk you through how to change your league settings and how to use your commissioner tools if you are a league commissioner. That's the same as a league creator. Now we're on my dashboard page and you can see that I am in five different leagues. I only want to change the settings in one of them. The Politicos. I haven't drafted yet in the Politicos. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the league name. It's going to take me to the league homepage. Now from this page I have a navigation bar that across the top also shows me settings and commish tools. Let's click first on settings. So this page shows me all of the league settings ranging from general settings, roster settings, draft settings, to trade settings. If I want to change them I click edit at the top. This basically brings me back to the same page that I was on when I created the league. And I can edit just about everything on here. In particular, I want to point out that I can change the league start date and the deadline by which I have to draft. So if I'm running late and I don't have, for instance, enough people signed up for my league to do my draft, I can go to this page and change the draft date and time. However, if my draft is already passed, then I'll have to click contact us and contact the fantasy politics team to ask them to move the draft back. Next let's take a look at Commission Tools. So under Commissioner Tools I have a number of different tools that I can use although most of them are applicable only before the draft. So for instance I can change the league settings all of these including the, pa team, the league password I can change the draft settings, the trade settings, the remove team settings, all of these prior to the draft. So if I wanted to get rid of a team from my league, I can do that right here. And I all I have to do is choose the team and click remove. After I do the draft, I'm no longer able to make those sorts of changes. Also, at the bottom of Commissioner Tools is a link to the offline draft. So once I'm ready to do an offline draft, I can come here and this is how I get there. There are also other ways to get there as well. The two tools that I can use after after the draft is over are first review trades. So if somebody proposes a trade in my league, I can click here and it'll show me what trades are pending. And I, as the league commissioner, have the ability to approve or deny trades. And the only reason why I would ever deny a trade is if I thought two members of the league were colluding. For instance, if we reached the end of a season and it was clear that one or two members of my league are not going to be able to make it to the championship, they might trade their very best players to a good friend in the league in return for their worst players. That's collusion and we want to prevent it. So we give the league commissioners the ability to veto trades. And this is how you do it. You also, throughout the duration of the, the league, have the ability to modify the league name, the league motto, the description, and the league logo. That's it. If you have any questions, you can always click on Contact Us at the bottom of the page, and we're always glad to help. Hope you enjoy playing. Thanks.